Admiral wanted to see me, but first, have to tidy up my uniform a bit. That's it, now I'm ready to meet her. Good day, Admiral. Lieutenant Miodrag reporting for duty. You wanted to see me? The cause of the supernova that destroyed Romulus remains a mystery. Our allies in the Romulan Republic have a theory on the matter, however. They believe that Taurus, the former praetor of the Romulan Star Empire, is responsible. Republic forces attempted to apprehend her, but she escaped through an Iconian gateway. Recently, the Republic has discovered new information that could help us track down Taurus. We want you to rendezvous with the RRW Lisette and provide any assistance you can. Do not worry, Admiral. We will get underway right away and maybe even apprehend Taurus ourselves. Commanding Officer's Log, Stardate 86827.0 By orders of Admiral Tanay, we are currently in Hobus system waiting for the RRW Lasette to arrive, which is captained by Commander Tiara Jarok. Our mission here is to find out more about recent spike in comms activity in the system, which is ground zero for the supernova that caused destruction of planets Romulus and Remus and brought death to countless billions. Any activity in the system is a cause for concern, especially in the ones that might involve certain former Praetor. Miodrak here. Sir, the Lisette is here. We are being hailed by them. I'm coming shortly, Alisa. Pleasure to be working with you. I heard about how you got your first command. Well done. Not every officer could have stood up to the Borg like you did. The pleasure is all mine, Commander Jarok. Unfortunately, we lost a good captain, and I think we had a bit of luck. But we try our best. Agents working for the Romulan Republic have recovered definite proof that Taurus, or persons working for Taurus, were responsible for the Hobus supernova that destroyed the homeworld. Our agent spoke to Taurus. She claimed that she was deceived by Hakiv. But that does not excuse her culpability in the destruction of two inhabited worlds and the deaths of millions. Our agent tells us that Taurus believes her Iconian masters can change the past and restore Romulus. So not only is she a killer, she's insane. Iconians? I thought they are now nothing more but a legend. What do you suggest we do then about her? Taurus cannot be allowed to commit even greater crimes in an attempt to fix her mistake. My intelligence officer, Lieutenant Gaius Salon, has intercepted communications that may allow us to locate Taurus and finally bring her to justice. I'll let him explain in greater detail. Very well, Commander Jarok. Greetings. I am Lieutenant Gaius Salon of the Romulan Republic. There are certain pleasantries that are customary in these circumstances. However, I'm choosing to skip those. We have much to do. Recently, the Republic intercepted a transmission from a group of Remans in the Hobus system. These Remans have remained loyal to Taurus, the former Praetor of the Romulan Star Empire, who was deposed by Sela. While the transmission was not unusual, its origin point was the Hobus system is under strict quarantine. However, a previous team uncovered a mining facility at one of the planetary fragments. We believe that the Riemann loyalists may have returned to this facility to continue their efforts. Could you remind me again, Lieutenant, why is this system under quarantine? The Hobus system is the origin point of the supernova and subsequent subspace explosion which destroyed Romulus and Remus. It is still, as you say, a hot zone. The Remans loyal to Taurus are using the quarantine as a cover to resume their operations in the system. The transmission we intercepted was addressed to Commander Aranhu, a Reman who is the captain of Taurus's personal guard. He must be the liaison to the forces in the Hobus system. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. So what do you suggest? 
Which approach should we take? The direct approach. If we confront the forces in the Hobbit system, who are in violation of both Federation and Romulan Republic mandates by their very presence there, they will send a call for assistance to Commander Aranhu. Once he arrives, we simply follow him. It is likely that he will lead us back to Taurus. Well, sounds like it's a good plan then. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I've just received emergency orders from Republic Command and must respond. Gaius can transport to your ship and help you complete the mission. We'll return as soon as we can. That would be agreeable, Commander. Greenland out. Mio drag to transporter room one. Lower the shields and beam over Lieutenant Salon. Roger that, sir. We have him, sir. Raise the shields back up. I am detecting some very rare minerals in the system, as well as the presence of protomatter. It is possible that Taurus used the materials here to construct her weapon. Miss Potts, set a course for the planetary fragment Alpha. Understood, sir. Sir, the sensors show there's a trace signs of protomatter in the planetoid's core. They are also picking up some odd readings from some of the icy asteroids near the core. Collect the samples here and set a course towards those icy asteroids next. It is confirmed, sir. These fragments are made of decalithium. If we can locate a supply of tecosite, that means that Tiris could have had all the ingredients she needed to build the device right here in this system. It is still circumstantial evidence unless we can tie it to her directly somehow. Collect a sample here, and let's move out towards the planetary fragment beta. Reman ships deck locking. Take evasive maneuvers, Miss Potts. Photon torpedoes, full spread. Destroyed one of them, sir. Torpedo spread again, Colez. Alright, now that we've got rid of the extra company, let's continue towards Planetway Gamma. Hmm, that is most curious, sir. I am detecting high levels of Tecosite in this planetary fragment. Starfleet believes Tecosite was used in creating the weapon which triggered the Hobbit supernova. Take a sample on board, Tavrel. We need as much as possible evidence. As I suspected, the materials are all here. Our agent located Taurus on planetary fragment Gamma. We should continue our search there. Miss Potts, you heard Lieutenant Salon. Set a course towards Planetary Fragment Gamma. Scan the Planetary Fragment and its surface, Dorel. 
Sensors are detecting some kind of shield covering a large crater on the surface of planetary fragment Gamma Sir. Sir, our scan has triggered automated defense systems, and a Reeman ship is decloaking. They are hailing us. Terrell, patch it on the main viewer. Your presence here is a violation of the quarantines established by at least three sovereign governments. Explain your purpose. Oh, do not mind us. We are here to investigate your violation in presence in this system. So, what is your excuse? I serve the Romulan Star Empire and its true leader, Taris. That is the only authorization I require. That is most unfortunate for you. Coles, fire at Sitash, but only to disable it. Target their weapons and engines. Understood, sir. I will be gentle with them. Ha ha ha. They've hit us with some kind of viral beam. Purge the affected system, Zarva. Coles, prepare our secret weapon. Get that cascading photon torpedo ready. Fire it now. Bon voyage. It's a direct hit, sir. Reading massive damage and multiple systems shut down at Sithish. Their hull is at 50%. Cease fire. Minerals in the planetary fragment will conceal the ship's energy signature. If we hide in the asteroids near it and mask our energy signature, I predict that Iran who will approach to investigate further and be unable to detect us. Turn us about, Miss Potts, and power down all non essential systems. What happened here? We were attacked by Starfleet saboteurs. They appear to have fled. Interesting. This is exactly like Scenario 2247B. I thought Scenario 1849K would be a more likely option. I shall incorporate this data into my modeling projections. Nevertheless, we should now be able to follow Aranhu's trail. He should lead us right to Taurus. Let us only hope for our sake that's the case, Lieutenant Salon. Helm, follow around whose vessel at safe distance. Match their course and speed. Engage. Sir, Commander Aran whose trail led here to the Iconia system. This is another system that's off limits to normal traffic. So any activity here is a cause for concern. Recommend we investigate. That large crater looks like a likely place to start. Miss Potts, put us directly in orbit about that crater. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, we're picking up a large shield protecting a structure of some type. The shield is using a modified cloaking device. If I hadn't been scanning for large amounts of tachyon particles, I would have never found it. Riemann ships decloaking. They're hailing us. On screen, Thoreau. Federation ship. I am Commander Jean Clado of the Riemann starship Intraku. Your presence here could be considered an act of war. Leave immediately, or we will open fire. Nah. <laughs> this is Lieutenant Miodra, Commander of the USS Greenland. Sorry, Commander, but we have no intention of leaving. That is unfortunate, Starfleet. Our conflict is not with you. Commander Arahu has charged me with securing this installation at all costs. Praetor Taras must be allowed to complete her work. And you have already seen too much. I'm sorry you feel that way, Commander. We will defend ourselves if we have to. Red alert, everyone. Prepare for battle. <coughs> Open fire on them, Coles. Fire. 
fire the cascading photon torpedo. I took the liberty of accessing the Intercoo's systems before it was destroyed. I managed to download the access codes for the planetary shield. I believe we should be able to use them to lower the shield and reach the surface. Excellent work, Lieutenant. Transmit the codes to my first officer. The codes that Lieutenant Slan procured have lowered the base's shields. That will allow us to transport our away team to the structure underneath the surface. Away team and Lieutenant Salan report to the transporter room 1 on the double. Hmm, this place looks interesting. These are the coordinates for the underground structure we detected. Reading life signs, sir. Multiple Remans and one Romulan. Our quarry could be just ahead. Let's hope you are right, Lieutenant. We should get moving, guys. your help with the gateway. Send your guards. Get behind the cover, everybody. I am replicating turret, sir. We need some help. They appear to have been attempting to merge Iconian and Romulan technology, perhaps in an attempt to reactivate the gateway network. We should access that console and attempt to open the door. Very well, Lieutenant. Follow me then, everyone. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Hmm, I can see there are some shipping logs. It appears they include storage of tecasite, the calithium, and protomatter on this level. And they all have quantum signatures as the elements we recovered from the Hobo system. We should download this data, sir. Could be invaluable for later date. I found a personal log from Terrace, putting it on audio. It has been decades, and I still find her key's betrayal difficult to accept. He is Romulan. Treachery is his heritage, as it is mine. But to go to such lengths, to destroy our world, oh, it is too much to bear, even now. He told me the device would destroy Donatra, and I, like a fool, believed him. And now, those pathetic refugees from the Republic have told the entire Quadrant that I am responsible for the destruction of Romulus. They don't understand. We should be allies. We want the same thing. At least my people know the truth. A Ron who is a rock. I find it strange that Remans are now my only companions. But perhaps they understand loyalty more than any of us. I rely on him to help me continue my work. The Iconians can restore all that is lost. I know it. I just need to make them see that I am worthy. The Dark Masters have responded to my pleas for assistance with dread silence. My only recourse is to harness their technology for myself. When I can step through the gateway and meet them as an equal, I am confident that they will turn back time and make everything as it was before. The base in the Hobus system is lost to me, but the quarantine holds. A Ron who can use it as cover to collect the protomatter and bring it back to me. Sila is looking for me. So is the Republic. If only I could make them see. I am our people's last hope. That's it from her diary. We'll put this one to good use too. Now, let's open the door and move on. Stay alert everyone. There could be more remains behind this next door. Watch out!
here's a present for you around who Oh! I'm alright, Alisa. He will pay for this. You are left alone. Surrender now. They always have to choose the hard path. Enough. You have won. And in winning, you have doomed the Romulan people. Taris, under the authority of Starfleet, you are under arrest for war crimes, committing an act of genocide, and crimes against the galaxy. They were not my crimes. I was betrayed by Hakeem, and now those crimes will never be undone. I hope you realize that in stopping me, you have doomed billions of Romulans to remain dead. Now you shall live with that guilt, as I have. Uh, even though you deny the truth of your role in the destruction of your people, you were blinded by your own lust for power. And you killed those people sure as if you had pulled the trigger yourself. Oh well, in any case, we are done for here. Greenland, lock onto Taris and beam her directly to the brig. Erect level 7 force field around her Before cell. Before we leave, may I suggest we look for evidence of the materials we discovered at Hobus? Uh, they will undoubtedly prove vital at Taris' trial. We should also overload the gateway. Make certain it can never be used again. I agree with you, Lieutenant Salon. Guys, go forward and look for evidence that can implicate Taris further. Check those containers over there. Yes, yes sir. sir. Over here, Lieutenant. I think we might be lucky after all. Ah, a good quality stored decalithium. Bingo! And now, just to overload the gateway and get the hell out of the dodge. Alright, that should do it. Hope you guys have some evidence, because we need to get out. Meodrak to Greenland, 6 to beam up now. Terrace is in the brig, sir, and all the evidence we found has been logged and secured. Now we just need to deliver them to a safe location somewhere. Miss Potts, set a course to Starbase 39. Setting course for Starbase 39, sir. Sir, Romulan Zimitar class warbird deck locking. It's the IRW level, the flagship of Sela, and they are hailing us. Interesting timing. On screen. How nice to see you again. I feel like we are becoming old friends. I will admit that your previous attempts to thwart my plans have been... irritating. But your actions today have more than made up for those petty annoyances. Taurus still has her loyalists among my people. An open move against her would have been a distraction from my greater plans. Hmm. Sorry to burst your bubble, Sila, but need I not to remind you that I actually do not work for you? But you played the pawn perfectly. I could not have asked for a more obedient tool. Now, if you will transport Terrace to my ship, we can avoid any unpleasantness. I'm sorry, your highness, but I could never be a friend with somebody like you. Sir, 
There's a Federation battle group warping in. It's USS Belfast. We are receiving a hail from Captain Sean. Patch him through, Tobrell. Captain Sean, you have as always an impeccable timing. Good to see you. The Lisette informed us that you might need some assistance with the prisoner transport. Good thing we brought some backup. Like always, thank you for saving our hide, sir. We will need to repay you one time. Taurus is wanted by the Romulan Star Empire for high treason and war crimes against the Romulan people. The Empire is the legitimate government of the Romulan people, and I demand you turn this terrorist over for trial and punishment. You make an excellent point, Sila, but Taurus' actions did not just impact Romulan worlds. Her alleged crimes were against the entire Quadrant. You will be welcome to attend and even testify at her trial, or perhaps we could establish an interplanetary tribunal of those impacted by the Hobus supernova. But for now, she will remain in Starfleet custody. You are a disappointment. Nevertheless, you did remove Taurus from the game, and for that I am grateful. Consider your decisions more carefully the next time we meet. I can be a powerful ally, or I can be your worst enemy. Ah, you are such an epitome of generosity, Silo. Mia drag to the brig. Transport Taris over to the Belfast. Acknowledged, sir. Prisoner transfer successful. Taurus is safely secured in the brig. We can take it from here. One more thing. We're detecting some unusual energy residue from the surface. Our databases identify it as... Iconian. Yes, sir. There was an Iconian gateway on the surface. A group of Freemans used it to escape. Do you have any idea where they went? Unfortunately, we only caught a glimpse, but it did look like some kind of Romulan station. In any case, sir, Godspeed with the prisoner. Miodrag, out. Sir, the Layset is decloaking. They are hailing us. Put them through, Terrell. Looks like we missed all the excitement, but I have been monitoring your progress. On behalf of the Romulan Republic, I would like to thank you and your crew for your assistance. I am confident that the Federation will provide more than adequate security for Taurus until her trial can be arranged. You can transport Gaius back to the Lisette as soon as you are ready. Always a pleasure, Commander Jarok. Transport a room. You are clear to send Lieutenant Salan back to the Lisette. Miss Potts, we are done here. Let's get out of here. Setting course back to Starbase 39, sir, as intended. <laughs>